This is the end of Hamlet. Uh, Act 5, Scene 2, we're at the castle. A brief synopsis, here's the synopsis of the, the scene. In the hall and castle, Hamlet tells Horatio how he discovered the king's plot against him and how he turned the tables on Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. Osric enters to ask on Claudius' behalf that Hamlet fences with Laertes. Hamlet agrees to the contest despite his misgivings. You know, Laertes is a brilliant swordsman and fencer as we looked at. Hamlet is less than. Hamlet is winning the match when Gertrude drinks from the poison cup that Claudius has prepared for Hamlet. Laertes then wounds Hamlet with the poison rapier, the sword. In the scuffle that follows, Hamlet forces an exchange of rapiers and Hamlet wounds Laertes. As Gertrude dies, Laertes himself dying discloses his and Claudius's plot against Hamlet. Hamlet kills Claudius. Before Hamlet dies, he asks Horatio to tell the full story that has led to these deaths and gives Fort and Bra his support for the kingship. After Hamlet's death, Fort and Bra arrives, claims the crown, and orders a military funeral for Hamlet. There's the play. Let's jump in. Hamlet. So much for this, sir. Now shall you see the other? You do remember all the circumstance. Remember it, my lord. Sir, in my heart there was a kind of fighting that would not let me sleep. That's the play, right? In my heart there was a, my heart was fighting that would not let me sleep. Methought I lay worse than the mutinies in the Bilbo's, uh, the mutineers and fetter, the mutineers and fetters. Rashly and praise be rashness for it. Let us know our indiscretion sometimes serves us well, when our deep plots do pall. This is important here. Our indiscretion serve us well when our deep plots do pall. Pall fail. And that that should learn us. There's a divinity that shapes our ends. Rough hew them how we will. You know, It's Hamlet's good luck to come back. It, he, he's had not only... Uh, he has some good luck in coming back here. That is most. Horatio, that is most certain. Up from my cabin, my sea groan scarfed about me in the dark, groped I to find out them, had my desire fingered their packet, uh, stole their packet, and fine withdrew to mine own room again, making so bold my fears for getting man manners to unseal their grand commission. Here's how Hamlet found out the plot, right? This is how he found out that Claudius was sending him to death. Or I found out, Horatio, ah, royal knave knavery, an exact command. So the, the command from the king, Claudius, Larded, enriched with many several sorts of reasons, importing Denmark's health and England's too, with ho such bugs and goblins in my life. Imagine terrors I were allowed to live. That's what that means. Then on the supervised, the reading, no leisure baited, delay allowed. You know, no, there's no leisure. I could don't have time for delay now, right? All that is past. That let my the last soliloquy. My thoughts are, you know, that the 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 indecision that. All that's past for Hamlet. No, not to stay the grinding of the axe. My head should be struck off. <laughs> you know, that's the plot against him. Is it possible? Here's the commission. Read it at more leisure. But will thou now hear now how I did proceed? Here's the letter itself that, that, that about my execution, I beseech you. Being thus be netted round with villains, or I could make a prologue to my brains, they had begun to play. I sat me down, devised a new commission, wrote it fair. I wrote a different letter. Here's Hamlet's new letter that replaced it. I once did hold it as our status, the statesmen do, a baseness to write fair, clearly, and labored much how to forget that learning. But, sir, now did my yeoman service. Will thou know the effect of what I wrote? You want to know what I wrote? Yes, Hamlet, I reach you. Yeah, tell me. Tell me. In an earnest conjuration from the king, as England was his faithful tributary, as love between them like the palm might flourish, as peace should still her wet and garland wear and stand a comma between her amities, and many such likes of great charge, that on the view and knowing of these contents without debatement further, more or less, he should those bearers be put to sudden death, not shriving time alone. Put Rosencrantz and Guildenstern to death. How was this sealed? Hamlet... Why, even that was heaven ordinate, or ordinated from heaven, right? Uh, ruling from heaven. I had my father's signet in my purse, which was the model of that Danish seal, folded the writ up in the form of the other, subscribed it, gave the impression, placed it safely, the changeling never known. Now the next day was our sea fight. And what to this serpent thou knowest already? So Gildenstern and Rosencrantz go to it. Hamlet. 
why man they did make love to this employment you know they were they were they were loyal to the king they are not near my conscience you know they proved themselves over to be loyal to the king and not me their defeat does by their own insinuation grow meddling grow you know tis dangerous when the baser nature comes between the past and fell incense points angry swords the rapiers of mighty opposites why what a king is this does it not think thee stand me now upon, become incumbent upon me? He hath, he that hath killed my king and whored my mother, talking about Claudius, he killed my father and made a whore my mother, popped in between the election and my hopes, thrown out his angle for my proper life. He wanted to put me to death. <laughs> and with such coisnage, uh, coisnage there, trickery, that's trickery, this means trick, and with such trickery, it's not perfect conscience to quit him with his arm is not to be damned to let this canker of our nature come to in further evil it must be shortly known to him from england what is the issue of the business here it will be short the interim's mine and a man's life's no more than to say one but i am very sorry good horatio that to Laertes i forgot myself for by the image of my cause i see the portraiture of his this is important right the very thing that Hamlet was feeling, the revenge, the guilt for murdering his father, to Laertes I forgot myself. I cause, for by the image of my cause, I see the portraiture of his. Everything I've been fighting for, I cause, I see it's reflected in him. Uh, I'll court his favors, but sure the bravery, bravado of his grief did put me into a towering passion. Peace who comes here. Here comes Osric the courtier. Your lordship is right. Welcome back to Denmark. I humbly thank you, sir. Do you know this one? Does thou know this waterfly? Uh, no, my good lord. Thy state is the more gracious, for tis a vice to know him. He hath much land and fertile. Let a beast be lord of beasts, and his crib shall stand at the king's mess. Tis a cough, cough but as I say, spacious in the possession of dirt. Uh, the cough here, the jackdaw. Osric, sweet lord, if your lordship were at leisure, I should impart a thing to you from majesty. I will receive it, sir, with all diligence of spirit. Put your bonnet to his right use, tis for the head. I thank you, your lordship, it is very hot. No, believe me, tis very cold, the wind is northerly. It is indifferent cold, my lord, indeed, but, you th you, but yet methinks it is very sultry and hot for my complexion, uh, my temperament. Exceedingly, my lord, it is very sultry, as to I cannot tell you, but... But, my lord, his majesty bade me signify to you that he has laid a great wager on your head. Sir, this is the matter. I beseech you remember. So he bets on, you know, Claudius is betting on this sword fight here, right? Nay, my good lord, for my ease and good faith, sir, here is newly come to court Laertes. Believe me, an absolute gentleman, full of most excellent differences. Distinguished, you know, so Laertes is a good man too, right? A very soft society and great showing, indeed to speak feelingly of him, he is the card or calendar of gentry, for you shall find in him the continent of what a part a gentleman would see. Hamlet, sir, his defilement suffers no perdition in you, though I know to divide him inventorily with dozy, uh, dozy dizzy, the arithmetic of memory. And yet, but yeah, I'll now, neither in respect of his quick sale, the quick sale, and you only stagger despite all, but in the ver verity of extolment, I take him to be a soul of great article in his infusion of such dearth and rareness as to make true diction of him. Description of him. His semblable is his mirror, and who else would trace him? His umbrage, nothing more. Your lordship speaks most infallibly of him. Hamlet respects Laertes. Laertes is a good man. Hamlet respects him. Sir, is it not possible to understand another tongue? You will to it, sir, really. What imports the nomination of this gentleman? Of Laertes? His purse is empty already. All his golden words are spent. Of him, sir? I know you are not ignorant. I would you did, sir, yet in faith if you did it would not much approve me. Well, sir, you are not ignorant of what excellence Laertes is. That means, you know, you know, <laughs> Osric's like, damn, Hamlet. Laertes is the is the swordsman. He's he's the man with the rapier. He's better than you, right? He's better than you. You're not ignorant of what excellence he is. I dare not confess that, lest I should compare with him in excellence. 
but to know a man well were to know himself. I know he's better. I know he's superior. Laertes is the far superior sword to Hamlet. I mean, sir, for his weapon, but in the imputation laid upon him, in his mead, he's unfellowed. What's his weapon? Rapier and dagger. That's two of his weapons. But, well, the king, sir, the wager with him six Barbary horses against the which he was in pawned. As I take it, six French rapiers and pointers with their assigns and girdles and hangers, three of their carriages. Here's all that here's all that was bet. Very dear to fancy, very responsive to the hills, most delicate carriages and very liberal conceit. What call you the carriages? I knew you must be edified by the margin, or you had none. Uh, the margin here. The marginal. The carriages, sir, are the hangers. The phrase would be more germane to the matter if we could carry a cannon by our sides. I would it might be hangers till then, but on six Barbary horses against six French shores. There are signs and three liberal conceited carriages. That's the French bet against the Danish. Why is this all in pond, as you call it? The king, sir, hath laid, sir, that in a dozen passes between yourself and him he shall not exceed you three hits. He has laid on twelve for nine, and it would come to immediate trial if your lordship would vouchsafe the answer. How if I answer no? What if I refuse? What if I refuse to fight? <laughs> I mean, my lord, the opposition of your person is on trial. Hamlet. Sir, I will walk here in the hall if it please his majesty. It is the breathing time of day with me. A uh, time when I take exercise. Let the foils be brought. The gentleman willing, and the king hold his purpose. I will win for him, and I can. If not, I will gain nothing but my shame and the odd hits. I'll fight. I'll fight. I'm going to do it. Shall I deliver? Tell him I agree. Tell the king I agree. Shall I deliver you? And so, to this effect, sir, after what flourish your nature will, I commend my duty to your lordship. Yours, yours, how does well to command it himself. There are no tongues else for his turn. This lopping runs away with the shell on his head. This, <laughs> this lapwing. This lapwing. Uh... Did comply, sir, with his dug, uh, was ceremoniously plight to his mother's breasts, before I sucked it. Thus has he, and many more of the same breed that I know the drossy age dotes on, only got the tune of the time, and out of the habit of encounter, a kind of yeasty collection, which carries them through and through the most fanned and winnowed opinions, and do but blow them to their trial. The bubbles are out. <laughs> they are blown away. Uh, Enter a lord. My lord, his majesty, commended him to you by young Osric, who brings back to him that you attend him in the hall. He sends to know if you will pleasure hold to play with Laertes, or that you were take. Are you ready? <laughs> or will you take longer time? I am constant to my purposes. They follow the king's pleasure. If his fitness speaks, mine is ready. I'm ready. Right? That you take long. I'm ready. Mine is ready. Now or whensoever, provided I be able... I be so able as now. The king and queen are all coming down. In happy time, it's the right time. Finally, it's the right time. The queen desires you to use some gentle entertainment to Laertes before you fall to play. Be courteous, you know. Be nice to Laertes. She well instructs me. You, Horatio, you will lose, my lord. <laughs> so, right? Yeah, that's how better Laertes is at the sword. I do not think so. Since he went to France, I have been in continual practice. I've been practicing. I shall win at the odds, but thou wouldst not think how it's all here about my heart. But it is no matter. It doesn't matter. Nay, good, my lord. It is but foolery, but it is such a gain-giving as would perhaps trouble a woman. If your mind dislike anything, obey it. I will forestall their repair hither and say you are not fit. Horatio. It's... If you want to run, Hamlet, because you're because you're not going to beat Laertes, and Laertes is pissed, so this might come to a bad end. If you want to run, I'll cover for you. Not a wit. Hamlet's done with that yet. Not a wit. We defy augury. There is special providence in the fall of the sparrow. That's a that's an allusion to Matthew from the Bible. If it be now, tis not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. The readiness is all. I'm ready, since no man of aught he leaves what is to leave behind, let be. You know, I'm ready. Hamlet's ready, right? This is it. Here's the table. Come, Hamlet, come and take this hand from me. The king puts Laertes' hand into Hamlet's. This is, I like this moment. Hamlet, he apologizes to Laertes for earlier. 
you know, his actions. Give me your pardon, sir. I have done you wrong. Not only for his actions, great, but killing his father. Like Hamlet's sincerely sorry. But pardon as you are a gentleman, this presence, this royal assembly knows, and you must needs have heard. How I am punished with a sore distraction. I've been upset too, right? I'm upset too. What I have done that might your nature honor and exception, disapproval, roughly awake, I here proclaim was madness. Was Hamlet wrong? Was it Hamlet who wronged Laertes? Never Hamlet. If Hamlet from himself be taken away, and when he's not himself does wrong Laertes, then Hamlet does it not. Hamlet denies it. Who does it then? His madness. So, you know, in my madness, which he stabbed Polonius thinking it was Claudius. It wasn't purpose. It was on accident. And in his madness, he treated Ophelia wrong, but he didn't think it was going to end to that. But it doesn't change it now. You know, if it be so, Hamlet is of the faction, party the side that is wrong. His madness is poor Hamlet's enemy. Sir, in this audience, let my disclaiming from, from a purposed evil free me so far in your most generous thoughts that I have shot my arrow over the house and hurt my brother. I've hurt you. This is a sincere apology here. I am satisfied in nature, whose motives in this case should stir me most to my revenge, but in my terms of honor I stand aloof. <laughs> right? Right? I like this. Yeah, this is this this apology satisfies me, but I can't I can't turn down. I can't turn down in honor, right? I must avenge my honor. And will no reconcilement till by some elder masters of known honor I have a voice and present of peace to keep my name on gourd. But till that time I do receive your offend love, offered love like love. That's important here, right? I, I gotta I gotta avenge, you know, I can't let this go, but I I I receive your apology of love like love and will not wrong it. I embrace it freely, and will this brother's wager frankly play? Give us the foils. Come on. Here it is. Here's the sword fight. Come, one for me. I'll be your foil. Laertes in my ignorance. Your skill like a star in the darkest night. Stick fiery off indeed. Stand out brilliant. You mock me, sir. No, by this hand. Give them the foils. Give them the swords, young Osric. Cousin Hamlet, you know the wager. Very well, my lord. Your grace has laid the odds on the weaker side. The king's wagered on Hamlet. There's a reason for this, right? Because the king's mechanizing. He's, he has all this plot to kill Hamlet here. Very well, my lord. Hamlet knows, though. Not not that this plot, but the but he, the Hamlet knows the king wants him dead. I do not fear it. I've seen you both. But since he is bettered, has improved, we have therefore odds. This is too heavy. Let me see another. This likes me well. These foils all have a length. Aye, my good lord. Set me the stoops of wine upon the table. If Hamlet give the first or second hit or quit, repay. And answer the third exchange. Let all the battlements their ordinance fire. The king shall drink to Hamlet's better breath. And in the cup of union shall he throw richer than that which four, four successive kings in Denmark's crown have worn. Give me the cups and let the kettle to the trumpet speak. The trumpet to the cannon here without. The cannons to the heavens. The heaven to earth. Now the king drinks to Hamlet. Come begin. To trumpets. The trumpets blare. And you, the judges, bear a wary eye. The trumpets. Come on, sir. Come, my lord. One. No, they're, they're fighting here, right? Here, here's the sword play. No. Judgment. Osric. A hit, a very palpable hit. Well, again. Stay, give me drink. Hamlet, this pearl is thine. Here's to thy health. Give him the cup. Hamlet. I'll play. So the king tries to give him the, the poison cup. I'll play this bout first. Set it by a while. Set the cup down. Come, another hit. What say you? A touch, a touch, I do confess. So Hamlet, Hamlet touches up Laertes. Our son shall win. He's fat and scant of breath. Sweaty out of training. Here, Hamlet, take my napkin. Rub thy brows. The queen carouses to thy fortune. Hamlet, good madam. Gertrude picks up the cup. Gertrude, de Poit Gertrude, do not drink. I will, my lord. I pray you pardon me. She doesn't know. You know, and no one knows except for the king and Laertes, Claudius and Laertes, about the poison cup. I will, my lord. It is the poison cup. It is too late. I dare not drink yet, madam, by and by. Come, let me wipe thy face. My lord, I'll hit him now. I do not think it. And yet it is almost against my conscience. So Laertes here feels a pang about all this double dealing, the duplicitousness of Claudius. 
It's against my conscience. Come for the third, Laertes. You do not but dally. I pray you pass with your best violence. I am sure you make a wanton of me. Say you so, come on. Nothing, neither way. Have at you now. So, and here's the scuffling. They're, they're, they're fighting, and they exchange the swords. Part them, they are incensed, and they come again. The queen falls, the queen dies. Look at the queen, there, ho. They bleed on both sides. How is it, my lord? How is it, Laertes? Why is a woodcock to my own springe? Snare. I was caught by my own snare. I am justly killed with my own treachery. Laertes knows he's cut with his own sword, with dipped in poison, so he's done. How does the queen? She swoons to see them bleed. She sounds, this, she swoons to see them bleed. No, no, the drink, the drink. Oh, my dear Hamlet, the poison. The drink, the drink, I am poison. Oh, villainy, ho, let the door be locked. Treachery, seek it out. It is, Laertes is dying, and he tells Hamlet everything. It is there, Hamlet, Hamlet, thou art slain. Because he, he, he got Hamlet as well. No medicine in the world can do thee good in thee. There is not half an hour's life. The treacherous instrument is in thy hand, unbated and in venom. The foul practice, the deception, the, pra the foul practice is the deception, hath turned itself on me. Lo, here I lie, never to rise again. Thy mother's poison, I can no more. The king, the king's to blame. Claudius. The point in venom too. Then venom to thy work. He stabs the king. He stabs Claudius. Treason, treason. Oh, yet defend me, friends. I am hurt. Hear thou incestuous murders, damned Dane. So everything before, right? Hamlet, Hamlet kills the king in treachery. Catching the king and, you know, everything the play leads up to, Hamlet is, is enacting now. However, everyone's dying <laughs> with, with treacherous uh, results. Here thou incestuous murderous damn Dane, drink off this potion. If thy union of the pearl until you drink, put it here. Follow my mother. King dies. He is justly served. It is a poison tempered by himself, mixed by himself. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and my father's death come not upon thee, nor thine on me. Forgive me, Hamlet. I don't blame you for your for my father's death. I know you wouldn't I know it was an accident. And I don't blame you for mine death. It was, this was all duplicitous. This, this is all double dealing. Hamlet and Laertes, you know, make heaven make thee free of it. I follow thee. I am dead, Horatio. Wretched queen, adieu. You that look pale and tremble at this chance, thou art but mute, performers who have no words to speak, or audience to this act. Had I but time, as this fell sergeant, death is strict in his arrest, oh, I could tell you, but let it be, Horatio. I am dead. Thou livest. Report me and my causes of right to the unsatisfied. Horatio, tell everybody what happened, because you know the truth. Never believe it. All right. Uh, I am more an antique Roman than a Dane. Here is you some liquor left. Hamlet, as thou art a man, give me the cup. Let go by heaven, I'll have it. Oh God, Horatio, what a wounded name. Things standing thus unknown shall live behind me. If thou ever did again, if thou ever didst hold it in my heart, absent thee from felicity a while, and in the harsh world draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. Tell my story. Tell everything that happened. Young Fortinbras, with conquest from Poland, now ambassadors England gives the war like Bali. Oh, I die, Horatio, the potent poison quite or crows me, my spirit. I cannot live, or crows my spirit that overpowers me. He's dying. All right, here's Hamlet's dying here. I cannot live to hear the news from England, but I do prophesy the election lights on Fortinbras. He has my dying voice. I, I support Fortinbras to take over Denmark. So tell him with the occurrence more and less which has listed the rest of silence. Now it cracks a noble heart. Good night, sweet prince. Sweet prince, right? There's Hamlet. Good night, sweet prince. And flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. Why does the drum come hither? Where is this sight, Fortinbras here, right? What is it you would see if out of oil or wonder cease your search? This quarry cries on havoc, O proud death. What feast is toward in thine eternal cell that thou so many princes at a shot so bloodily hast struck? There's a bloodbath here. Everyone's dead, right? 
The sight is dismal, and our affairs from England come too late. The ears are senseless that should give us hearing to tell him his commandment is fulfilled. Rosencrantz tell that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are dead. Where should we have our thanks? Not from his mouth. Had the ability to life to thank you, he never gave commandment for their death, but since so jump upon this bloody question, you from the Polak Wars and you from England, and here arrived, give order that these bodies high on stage be placed to the view, and let me speak to the unknowing world how these things came about. So shall you hear of Carnal. Here's Horatio. This is the play. You know, I'm telling you all what happened. Of carnal, bloody, and unnatural acts. Of accidental judgments. Here's the play writ large right here. This is the whole play. Of accidental judgments, casual slaughters, of deaths put on by cunning and forced cause, and in this upshot, purposes mistook, fall in the inventor's head. All this I can truly deliver. Here's the play. Here's everything that happened. Let us haste to hear it and call the noblest to the audience. For me, with sorrow, I embrace my fortune. I have some rights of memory in this kingdom, which now to claim my vantage doth invite me. Of that I shall have also cause to speak, and from his mouth whose voice will draw on more. But let the same be presently performed, even while men's minds are wild, lest one more mischance or plots and errors happen. Fortinbras, remember, whoever is in charge, whoever is the, the, the last with power gets the final lines in, in Shakespeare. Let four captains bear Hamlet like a soldier to the stage, for he was likely, had he been put on, to have proved most royal. Had he been put on, if he if he was on top of, you know, he would to have proved most royal. And for his passage, his death, the soldiers' music, and the right of war speak loudly for him. Take up the bodies. Such a sight as this becomes the field, the battlefield. But here so is much amiss. Go, bid the soldiers shoot. Hamlet is getting a, a proper a burial. He was a good man. He would have been a good king. Everyone's dead. Hamlet enacts his revenge. But at what cost? Ophelia's dead. The queen is dead. Laertes is dead. Polonius is dead. Hamlet is dead. Yeah, a brilliant, though, emotional, psychological, philosophical uh, piece of literature.